biggest match of their lives could be. I am ready. The crowd is ready. Everybody's ready. So let's get this underway. Here we go. Three, two, one. Tetris. Thanks, Tiny Snowdrop for Tiny Snowdrop for the three, two, one bits. Sidnev, of course, with the one push down point. It's kind of a trademark. All right, Tetris for Gerald, 47,000. Sitting up, gonna take uh, burn number one. And Gerald's board getting a little complicated here and, and Sidnev's getting, board getting a little high. So there must be kind of a drought buried in here somewhere. Sidnev set up though to take advantage and of the long bar that finally comes. Gets a couple Tetris's, 95,000 for Sidnev, 76,000 for Gerald. <laughs> I wonder what the downstairs neighbors think. You know, like crazy guy. Oh, great series of burns there for Gerald. Skim off that double, open up the well. What do the downstairs neighbors think? You know, when I started CTM, I was in a house. Was I in a house? I think I was, but uh, now I'm in an apartment. Oh, this is a downstairs lady with uh, these kids that just scream all the time. And I'm like, oh, these kids are screaming all the time. Meanwhile, if this guy above them is screaming about Tetris and long bars and kill screen and Corian thing and whatever. I mean, so am I any better? <laughs> uh, it's going to be weird. 213 for Sidnev, 192 for Gerald. Two sixty one here for Sidnev, two forty for Gerald. have a new CTM master champion and fresh new one. Now we've had two other ones that I think won for the first time this year and who knows what they are. Do you know in chat who the first timers were in 2022? 292 here for Sidnev, 310 for Gerald. Right, my chess master knows it's Cheese and Huff. One of two first timers in 2022, and we'll have another one. And why am I? I just, it was, <laughs> I didn't realize at this moment that Sidnev's camera was like way off the screen. I'm like, I'm still, honestly, I'm still a little shaken from uh, from that finish. There we go. Apologies, folks. <laughs> there you go. Sidnev have face reveal. Yeah, that was weird. That was a weird way to begin the finals. Like, all right, some guy's neck and some guy's foot. All right. <laughs> These are like necks and feet monthly. All right. And Sidnev, of course, with the glove. Gerald with glowing gloveless. Very dangerous. Neck versus foot. <laughs> That's true. Instead of neck and neck, it's neck and foot. 
All right, Tetris to Gerald, 499. Sidnev trying to clean up this awkward stack here. And, oh, there we go. Set up for a center well. Tetris, one row off the bottom. Did I say Tetris? Elmer footing it up. And Sidnev with the dirty center well Tetris. Set up for another one. And there it is. Tetris, Gerald, 590, 491 for Sidnev. Gerald, 613, two lines to go until 19. Sidnev into 19 at 517. People, there's a small contingent of people who really want me to say goaty throaty Tetris. I'm not going to do that. That is, that sounds wrong. Goaty throaty. I don't like that. 591 for Sidney, 687 for Gerald. Tetris for Sidnev 673 back by about 70,000 points from Gerald, but it is also ahead in lines by, you know, about a level's worth of lines. So pretty substantial lead for Gerald right now. <laughs> oh, Gwaifey, I'm not going to follow. I'm not going to fall for a, a D's nuts joke right there. Sidnev in trouble. And Gerald in trouble as well. Both players up high on the board. There we go. Gerald will uncover the right side and is open for the Tetris. Bank Tetris for Gerald. 849 and another one. 879. Sidnev trying to bring this down. And finally back to some area of safety here. Oh, they're all they're all trying to get me in chat with these uh these D's nuts. They're trying to bait me and I will not be baited. Max out here for Gerald on 26. This is why you should watch on YouTube. You don't want to you don't want to endure what's going on here on Twitch. By the way, thanks for Jorge White for the tier 1 sub a few minutes ago. 897 for Sidnev, level 27, A43 for Gerald. So about 150,000 point lead for Gerald as we approach 29 and Gerald with the 1.1 still on level 27. And Gerald looking to get that 1.2 into 29. Sidnev into 29 with the max out, and Gerald will have a 1.2 into 29. Tetris for Gerald, C53. Sidnev setting up aggressive gets the Tetris. Gerald ahead by 200,000 points and has, you know, eight to 10 lines in hand as well. And players just setting up for Tetrises. Singling and doubling over. Oh, kind of a awkward. Uh, Placement there for Sidnev. B49 Sidnev. Gerald D24. Sidnev with some down sacking to do. Doc Pie, thank you so much for the sub. And Gerald with a great looking stack. Triple into a Tetris. Got the 1.3. Is one away from the 1.4. Uh, the board breaking down a bit. 
And Gerald's going to top out at D78. So there is an opportunity with aggression for Sidnev. So back by 190,000 points. Tetris is here worth around, you know, 40 something thousand points. So possible. There is a center well Tetris for Sidnev. Needs to bring this down and start scoring Tetrises. Uh, needs 128,000 points and has 26 lines to do it. D78. All right, Tetris for Sidnev. <laughs> All right, D78, 1.3. There's D68, has four lines. Four lines. Oh no, is Sidnev gonna be able to do this? D oh no, it is gonna, to gonna fall short by one line. Sidnev lost track of the lines and fell short by one line. Needed a double and ended up taking a single. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. Line cap matters. Holy mackerel, what a 2022. Gerald is going to hang on for the game one victory. All right. Sidnev. Signal's ready. Gerald is ready. Let's go ahead and get game two underway. Three, two, one, Tetris. Now, something that often happens when you have one of these hype, historic, like world historical games is the next one ends up being a clunker. So let's see if they can avoid the set, you know, the next game slump. I mean, I'm still, I'm still shaking from the, from the Gerald and Alex game. And now this is happening. I can't take it. I'm going to hit my out of pocket maximum for my healthcare plan. This rate, my word, adult things. If you're a kid, you don't have to worry about that. All right, this seed uh, getting a little spicy. But finally, long bar here for Sidnev, 91,000. There's one for Gerald, 95. All right, Tetris for Sidnev, 137. I think, you know, I think, I think that's just kind of what... This is what Tetris needed again. Is that just like imp impending doom? Like the inevitable, like you're going to top out. What can you do before it happens? You know? And it's happening. I'm like the Ron Paul gif. It's happening, right? <laughs> That's me right now. <laughs> All right, there we go. Sidnev able to weather the drought, get a Tetris 209 in the lead over Gerald, who's at 169. Kingsman is here. It's the call of his people. All right, Sidnev uh, scrambling up toward the top of the board here, though. Oh, no, and this looks like it's going to be fatal for Sidnev. And Sidnev going to top out at 215. Gerald was up high on the board as well. And Gerald gonna need to bring this down and does and needs, there we go. There is the Tetris for the game two victory. So here it is, Gerald up two games to none in game three. Let's go, three, two, one, Tetris.
Sidnev with the one push down point. Tetris for Sidnev. Starting a game off with three Tetrises. We'll have to take a oh, beautiful double there. That always looks so cool to me. Like, oh man, they just like manufactured that out of nothing. Tetris for Sidnev 115. Gerald at one, uh, I'm sorry, at uh, now 117. Oh, the Vitz for Sidnev. Well, we should just give Sidnev the game right there. You know, setting up for the Vitz, getting it. There we go. Finally, long bar for Sidnev. Tetris 163. 140 for Gerald. Tetris Sidnev 231. JD Lama. Wow. Thank you so much for the contribution to the prize pool. JD Lama. To bring us up to an even $2,700. Uh, and of course, JD Lama, you know, from that documentary was it was it called nintendo quest or something like what was that what it was you were in the store right nintendo quest and it's terrible yeah i mean i can't <laughs> it is bad <laughs> it's not great sydney setting up for the vits i mean it's fine like it's good if you like the topic but probably if you're not into the topic then it might, might be hard to watch. <laughs> it's fine. It's not easy to make something, you know? It's not easy to make a documentary. You can't just point a camera at something. And so, you know, anybody that can actually do something from the very beginning and, 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 and finish it, I mean, that already goes way above anything I've ever done, believe me. But, uh... <laughs> but I mean, you know, if you want, if you like the topic, then you should go check it out and watch it. All right, four twenty-five for Sid and F three sixty-six for Gerald. This is my problem. I'm too honest. We're like, oh no, it was great. What are you talking about? Oh, it's really good. Sidnev in a little bit of a situation, but I think we'll be able to burn out of this. Yes. Okay, we're uncovering and Tetrising. So Sidnev's still in the lead, 456 through 100 lines. There's about a 86,000 point lead over Gerald. Sidnev needs to win this to stay in the tournament. Sid have one Tetris away from the 19 transition. Looking to transition with a 600K. You always love to do that. It's 14 lines ahead of Gerald. Playing up higher on the board. And there is the Tetris into 19, 604. 
transition for Sidnev. JD Lama with the 9950. After I literally just panned the documentary that he was in. And he contributes more. <laughs> Thank you so much, JD Lama. Oh my word. What if I get really insulting? I wonder how much he'll contribute then. <laughs> 655 for Sidnev, 548. Gerald with the Tetris. So Sidnev up over 100,000 points. We've seen Sidnev put up huge paces in CTM's past. And looking to do that again. He needs really to do this three times in a row. Right, Sidnev trying to do something with that right side. Gonna get the dirty Tetris. All right, another Tetris for Sidnev. 799, 704 for Gerald. And again, Sidnev ahead by like 15 lines, though. So in the end, it's pretty darn close. All right, dirty double for Sidnev. And there's a Tetris 836 and another one 866. So here, we'll try to, um, at 190 lines, what, what's Sidnev's score going to be? That way we can benchmark against Gerald. All right, it's going to be 897 into 25. So we'll see what Gerald's at. Nice S spin for Gerald and Tetris. Sidnev in a little bit of cleanup mode. Tetris for Gerald. Going to come in at a lower pace, so I think Sidnev's got the pace advantage. Yeah, these, these folks are writing our headlines for us, so appreciate it. <laughs> Sidnev with the max out here on 27. Another Tetris. 27 on Sidnev's board always looks a little like 28. It's a weird capture. Sidnev set up again, gets it. And Sidnev's into the 1.1 territory here on level 28. I think Gerald going a little aggressive here, trying to make up some of this lead or some of this deficit. All right, Tetris for Sidnev into 29, B76. So is ahead by, you know, 278,000 points. Really just needs to stay alive here, but is get, all right, getting points, getting Tetrises. Risky Bisky gets the bar over. And another bar for another Tetris for Sidnev. C98 on level 31. Gerald setting up for the Tetris here. Get it. Gonna get it into 29. Has the max out. Sidnev's board breaking down is gonna top out at D38521. D38521, and it's all up to Gerald here. That is a 1.33, and Gerald is at 1.07. So it needs about 200 and, you know, math, you know, <laughs> needs to get to D38. But does not have infinite time, like the old days. And the board kind of breaking down here for Gerald as he tries to go aggressive. And he's going to top out. And Sidnev going to take game three and stay in the tournament. All right. We got two ready players. The seeds have been incremented. And the fans are ready. And I am ready. And let us go. Game four. Three, two, one. Tetris.
All right, Sidnev uh, not going for line spin, so we'll see if uh, that comes back to haunt the young Nederlander. All right, Tetris, Sidnev, 49,000, 26,000 for Gerald. Yeah, we are up to 2,800 even. Thank you so much, to JD Lama. Can we can we get can we get to three thousand to cap off the year? Can we do that? Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to ask that. I don't want to be a, I want to be greedy. But on the other hand, I don't get any of it. Players get. It. <laughs> well, not you, JD Lama. You know, it was a community thing. Doesn't have to be you. 118 for Sidnev, 105 for Gerald. Oh, that's true. If I can get into Masters, then I could just try to win my own tournament. Hmm. All right, Sidnev getting up a little bit high on the board, having to take some burns. Slings that long bar all the way to the left. And you just hate being up this high because you know, just a couple of pieces can just do you in. Like one miss drop and then the wrong piece and you're just... All right, so there's a good square. It looks like Sidnev's going to be able to get out of this. I don't want to speak too soon. But does uncover the right side and is open for the Tetris. Column two Tetris set up here for Gerald, 191. Gonna end up having to take a few burns here. Both players getting droughted. They are weathering the droughts. And there we go. Finally, Sidnev with the Tetris. Gerald can't use the long bar for its intended purpose. Still digging. Sidnev into the lead now. Well, JD Llama with another. That's cr JD Llama. Take that back. We got to refund it. That's crazy. No more. You are banned from Maturino. That is enough. Thank you so much for the generosity. 254, Gerald, 270 for Sidnev. All right, we need to come up with another $100 for these players. And the community's got to do it. So whether it's sponsor quests or... And it can't be Pumpy, right? Because Pumpy, that's... Pumpy wants to do stuff like that, but it can't be Pumpy. All right, 318 for Sidnev, 259 for Gerald. Gerald setting up for that. Uh, look at, I mean, look at that. Like, said, okay, the TP's comes, I can take care of it. Nope, no TP's, then I've got a very efficient way to turn that around. That, that's amazing to me. See, I know how Pumpy thinks. Sidnev passing on the delayed Vits. Beautiful tuck setup for Sidnev. 345, 341 for Gerald. Gonna tuck that T over from the right. Building out the left. Getting Tetris ready with the long bar. And Tetris for Gerald. 354. Kind of a, kind of a safe burn with the incoming long bar for Gerald. Sidnev Tetris 416, Gerald with one 379. Stoikel with the $20. Thank you so much, Stoikel. We're getting there. We're at 2920. And it's a uh, it's I'm gonna say it's incredible, but it's highly credible that people want to support the players and their prize pools and awesome.
463 for Sydney, 425 for Gerald. And Sidnev into 19 at 465, kind of a lower transition than you would want, but also Gerald on the low transition. So probably just an RNG thing. And it really makes you think about the times when, you know, we've got uh, in the past where we were not on same piece sets and one player is like way ahead of the other one. You think, oh, I wonder what that is. And well, maybe it's RNG. But I know that there are times when some of the players in the past have had worse RNG than their uh, opponent and it's still won. So. All right, Sinev with the Tetris, 528. Going to tuck in that line spin setup. Gerald into the lead, five, uh, I'm sorry, 534. But just a very bare lead. And both players weathering a drought here. Dirty triple for Sidnev. Gerald getting set up for the Tetris. There is a Tetris, Gerald, 601. $76 from Madel's Burger. And uh, that's $2,999. So... We are one dollar. No, leave it at that. Let us. That's funny. If we're like one dollar short, that's actually really funny. So just for the memes, nobody contributed a dollar. <laughs> memes are more important than paying the players, and I think they will agree. Five ninety six for Sidnev, six seventy for Gerald. All right, Tetris Sidnev, six twenty nine, back by about seventy one thousand points. But ahead in lines. Tetris for Gerald. Set up again. He's got his Tetris machine. Tetris factory up and running. Tetris Sidnev 696. Tetris, Sidnev, 734 on level 27. Third, oh, people are doing sponsor quests. Peyton trying us to get a, trying to get us to 99 cents, I think. All right, Tetris, Sidnev, 804 into level 28. And Knight has contributed $69. What a goat. Thank you so much, Knight, for the contribution. Ruined the meme. All right, Sidnev is into 29 at 880. Gerald in the lead at 923 on level 29. And here we go. Sidnev, Sidnev if, 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 uh, if they want to win, they got to do it here. But it is close. I mean, they're within basically a Tetris of each other. And Gerald setting up for Tetris's misdrop here for Sidnev. Sidnev's board breaking down, getting up high on the board. And Sidnev, that long bar isn't going to make it to the left. Sidnev going to top out at 931. And Gerald Freeman is going to win CTM Masters. Gerald declared at the beginning of the month that he will not be playing CTM anymore. This will be the last time he plays CTM and is a first and last time CTM champion. One and done. We will see. But Gerald is on top of the Tetris world right now. And is going to mullin this out for you. That's it, Gerald about to be banned from CTM forever. And we'll top out here, GG's to Gerald.
for winning. There it is. The phone, the baguette, the couch, the, the leathery looking couch, the foot, the thumbs up. You know, Lon Chaney is the man of a thousand faces. Gerald is the man of no face. So there it is. Show the bread. The fans want to see the bread. Show the bread. There is the bread. Show the bread. Gerald Freeman. There it is. That, look at that. That's, that is weird looking. <laughs> There's the there's that big honking loaf of bread. Look at that bread. Eat the bread. So that's it. That is that is the end of a Tetris CTM, well, CTM career anyway. <laughs> that is the end of CTM for Gerald and going out on top. Goodbye, Gerald. We hardly knew ye. Thank you for paying your grad school tuition, Vandy. Well, thank all of our fantastic contributors to our prize pool. We've made it over. Uh, we've got, this is the prize. Let me show you the prize pool. The prize pool is $3,069.99. And that could go higher if YouTube wants to chip in, but you know, they're really cheap. Like nobody on YouTube chips in, very rare. But you know, they should start. But anyway, that is what Gerald will win. Uh, we've got the phone, we've got the bread, we got all the Gerald elements, and there we go. I wanna thank uh, all the contributors to the prize pool this month. What an amazing month, and what some great moments, uh, you know, that we will put on, by the way, Linespin Media. Go to YouTube, Linespin Media. A lot of the moments you see this month will end up on Linespin Media on YouTube. But yes, let us go ahead and thank our contributors again shall be satisfied thank you very much scott gray what a goat k9 watching tetris amazing jd llama coming in late and hot full metal fury madel's burger knight peyton jd llama again g van 2 palm bryce poor something peyton with a bunch of them stoichel song scout and uh that brings us down to ten dollars and i can't find it's not clicking open for me so if you uh oh yeah abby normal jvq's beast and chen burrito dad text now oh thank you so much colin Tugi payton deck blah 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 blah, blah doc pie all right thanks to all of you who contributed thanks to those of you uh who have supported our channel month in month out subscribers it means a lot you know, we would like to spend more and more time bringing Tetris to the wider world. And the more that we can get supported by the community, the more time and resources we can spend doing that. So thanks to all of you who have contributed bits and been subscribers and and uh, on the Patreon, which we're going to be doing a lot more stuff on Patreon. You can hit that up at patreon.com slash monthly Tetris. Don't believe the slide. It's monthly Tetris, not Van Dweller. Like as soon as I stopped uh as soon as i changed it from van dweller to monthly tetris some other dude just took it and is like oh i i live in a van support me i was like all right but uh there you go uh who else do i want to thank i want to thank of course i mean what an amazing year i mean this is the this is the last one for the year it's our fifth anniversary we, i tried to get a special commentator for today it didn't work but whatever you don't need that you just need the players right so anyway thanks to everybody who made this year possible there's too many names, you know, I can't name all the names. I mean, I could start, but then I would leave one person out and, uh, you know, then it's like, oh, you left me out. You must not care. So I don't know. You all, you know, all the names join the discord ctm.gg slash discord. And, uh, is they, if they have a moderator name or a tournament helper role or whatever, that those are the people making this happen for you every single month. So thank all those people. Uh, yeah. And uh, I don't know what else to say, man. Five years. It's crazy. What do we do? What do we, I don't even know what to do. Is there something on? Are we supposed to do something? What do we do? Am I missing something? Check us out on YouTube.gg. No, YouTube.com slash what? Monthly Tetris everywhere. 
Tiny Snowdrop says 39 bits. Thank you, Vandy, for literally making this whole thing happen. Uh, yeah, I, uh, there was a one time where I made it all happen, and then I just delegate out a bunch of the crap that I used to do to other people. So they're making it happen, too. So thank you to everybody. And most of all, to Ryan Ambergy. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Cobra. Thank you, Cobra. Ryan. Messix. How does it feel to be in the company of Messix? <laughs> people who just ping me all the time. I'm just kidding. No. Um, thanks. To, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know who else to thank. Everybody. You know, whatever. I don't want to leave. I didn't want to be here to begin with. And now I don't want to leave. Knight says, read, do not DM Vandy. Thank you for the 10 bits, 100 bits. Uh, Pumpy Heart, of course, a uh, big part of this whole thing. Dan Weller, uh, those who do a ton for the YouTube and Pumpy does a lot for the scheduling and just ideas and all this other stuff. But thanks to that. Uh, thanks to our bot and web dev team, our social team. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this. The, 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 the big unsung heroes. Who are the big unsung heroes? Let me tell you who it is. It's all the qualifier checkers. That is like really... It's the schedulers, the people who actually schedule the players, because that is like a big task, because these players are a big pain in the ass. And, um, and, uh, yeah, Foiled, Ivory, Burb Wizard, I think, are the ones doing the scheduling recently, as well as Bumpy, who does Masters. The qualifier checkers, like Zar Jordan and Foiled, and I forget who else all is at Peyton. Tons of them moderators uh i think aaron might even do some i i don't know fractal might be in it. i don't i don't know who's doing them all but there's a lot of people doing that so a lot of unsung heroes volunteers making this all happen so that is it for me congratulations again to gerald you know i know gerald has said oh i'm done with ctm but you know you won man you won ctm you gotta come back where, do do whatever you got to do. We'll figure it out. We got to have Gerald back to defend the title. We'll figure this out somehow. You got to come back. We'll, we got, we'll figure it out. We get a luchador mask. Is that good? Put a, a bag over your head. Not sure. <laughs> but anyway. All right, Gerald. Thanks so much. Congratulations again to all of you. Congratulations to our other winners. Do I have? That's not filled out, but you can see. You can imagine Gerald's name there. Of course, dog playing Tetris was in the top four. Alex T in the top four. And then the top eight. They all got paid this month. Hey, hey. So Dog Huff, Sidnev, Fractal, Pixel, Andy, Gerald Freeman, Tetris, Alex T, and Eric ICX. Their Tetris is 1%. They get all the money. The rest of us get nothing. Anyway. All right. Well, who should I raid? Who do I even raid? I didn't run any ads. So here's what it's going to do. You got, you're all going to watch an ad. Promise you'll watch it. And then I'll raid. <laughs> <laughs> we need to, we need the money. <laughs> watch the ad. All right. Thank you for promising to watch the ad. Hey, everybody. This is your old pal, Vadweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly. And I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.